everyone here. I'm at uh, Midwest Dreaming with John Burney, the channel manager for Cornerstone On Demand. John, I've heard, you know, the brand Cornerstone for quite a while, so can you just tell me a little bit about what you guys are doing and, and how you're related to Salesforce? Sure, thank you. Uh, so we're here today to talk about one of our product lines, Cornerstone for Salesforce. And what that is, is Cornerstone On Demand has developed a native force.com learning management system built on Salesforce's platform to take advantage of the hard work that people do to implement Salesforce to administer learning, training, certification, education. So we're actually used by Salesforce. Uh, if you ever clicked help and training, it takes you to Salesforce's success community. Since we're native, we're able to expose our custom objects into those communities. Uh, so if you ever take any kind of training from Salesforce, the premier success catalog, that's us administering Salesforce's content to all of their 300,000 plus customers, five million users. Um, but the idea and the real heart behind why we created this product was to put training inside of Salesforce where all the CRM data is so you could correlate is training affecting that CRM data. Basically, is training working? Which has been a question that's been hard to answer for years and years. So now that we have a native learning management system inside of Salesforce, where your sales data is, where your marketing data is, where your service data is, we can say and use Salesforce analytics to determine, is it making the effect that you're hoping for? So. And um, you, you, know, you talked about uh, the commu success community. So um, is that, all, when, you know, for someone implementing this in their org, Ob is it for internal people? Is it for external people? Both? Great question. Yeah. So I think originally, like, you know, Salesforce's original concept, it was targeted at the inside internal sales users, but we've grown, uh, and luckily, through the platform and through our native capabilities, we're able to grow with Salesforce. Most of our users are actually external users by volume. Um, usually we start with some population of internal users, and then as people develop and mature in their Salesforce use, and they extend Salesforce to their external users, there's every single use case for a community, whether it's customer or partner, there's a use case for educating them. You're not going to have a partner community where you don't educate those partners and push them leads. It's nice to see what your partners are doing, inside of Salesforce, so you pass the tier one leads to the partners that are taking the new product education. You're educating your customers, because educated customers aren't clogging up your call centers, right? So, uh, great use case for the external communities, great use case as a productivity tool. Um, we've leveraged Salesforce's triggers to push education to people when they don't know that they need it. Yeah. Sales operations has the ability to while you're going through your opportunity cycle, when you click different fields, it can trigger content pushed to you. A two minute coaching video comes to you when you're stage three against a specific competitor. Or if it's over a $100,000 deal, maybe sales operations has a whole different set of content that they want you to know before you continue on in your opportunity cycle. And where can that content be hosted? It's hosted, it's uploaded into Salesforce, uh, but we do pull it out to Amazon Web Services so that it doesn't affect your uh, file storage limits in Salesforce. Okay, so through the interface in Salesforce, you can upload this stuff and then it just gets Simple, sucked out click to and Drag, drag gotcha. and drop, upload content. So going back to the training piece for partners, um, I know that uh, some of the clients that I've worked with, they like to understand where their partners are at, you know, what kind of training they have, and that that you know dictates kind of their certification levels uh, within um, you know their organization. So what what do you guys do around that? So just like uh, any of our content or education training activities, uh, it's pushed out based on your user record. So a partner user record based on their role or type of partner they are, you can administer training to them. It could be part of a certification course, it could be new product knowledge, it could be through a partner community. The beauty of it is somebody at their organization is in charge of making sure those partners are successful. Those people are using Salesforce to manage those partners today. 
right there on that partner contact record or that partner account record, we have related lists that show who was assigned what, when it was completed, what their scores were, what their progress is, and since all that information is in Salesforce, they could be used to incentivize slow adopters of new content, or it could be used to reward partners that are uh, leading the pack as far as understanding the product you're trying to get them to sell. So it's very valuable knowledge. And does this integrate into like the customer and partner communities, or how do people get to the, the training stuff? Very good question, and something that's very important for people to understand, no integrations. We are Salesforce native objects, custom objects that are learning related. So we're installed in. We leverage the latest and greatest of Salesforce's platform to run our analytics, chatter integration, uh, Salesforce One, all of these things. Um, not, an ins uh, not an integrated product like some of our competition. Okay, well if, uh, if they want to get a hold of your product, what should they do? Uh, you could go to cornerstoneondemand.com forward slash cornerstone for Salesforce, or you could contact me, John, 602-284-6588. Okay. All right, John, thank you very Thanks much. Thanks very much. Cheers.